Howdy y'all. So I've been wanting to get back into film photography. It's been a while since I have and it just kind of reminded me when I came across a random, you know, point and shoot film camera while thrifting. I was really hoping to find a different kind of camera while thrifting, but I wasn't able to. So I had to resort to good old Craigslist to pick up some Polaroids, this being one of them. The Polaroid Impulse QPS. Hopefully you can see that there. And it is in pretty solid shape. Uh, no real issues with it. I cleaned it up best as I could after you know bringing it home. Bought a pack of film here locally and I've been shooting away. No real issues there other than the film being a bit pricey. As it stands at the time of recording, an eight pack of film of Polaroid Originals is $20. So that's a good bit over two bucks a shot. So I'm not gonna be able to use it nearly as much as I want to because I really love the look. So I'll probably save that for occasions where I want to differentiate it from any of my other cameras. So here, hopefully you'll see some of the shots that I took with it and have been loving, mainly some family portraits. As far as a learning curve is concerned, I didn't really have too much issues except for the metering. Now, after about one pack, I did have a much better feel for how it was going to meter in any given situation, and I was a lot more confident when taking my shots. But I did end up ruining, I think, two shots, one of them underexposed, one of them overexposed, by a pretty large amount. So. I mean, don't be afraid to mess around with the exposure, but if you are, for the most part, if you leave it in dead center, you'll probably be fine, unless you're in a really extreme environment. The only other kind of quirk is that these Polaroid cameras had a window showing the remaining film count, but the packs that are, you know, actually selling today have eight while the older ones I believe had 10. So that count is always gonna be off by two. So this right now is telling me I have two shots, when in reality I know that there is nothing in here. So if I try to take a shot, there it does have battery, but if I try to take a shot, I'm guessing the flash will fire it, but nothing will come out. Just like I thought. <laughs> it would really suck if there was actually a film because I'd feel pretty bad for wasting it. Anyway, if you have any comments or concerns, <laughs> I don't really know why you would have concerns, but if you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below and I'll try to respond to them if I can. All right, it's been a pleasure, guys. If you have any other requests, uh, please let me know. Other than that, uh, I think I might do some videos of some of the other film cameras that I've been testing here recently, mostly point and shoots. I, I don't know why I've been having fun with that. Uh, but I'm not going to stick strictly to film. I think I'm going to try some maybe older digital cameras if I can get my hands on them. It's just a lot of fun messing around with that sort of equipment. Anyway, it's been fun. You guys have a good day.